all of you hope you guys are great so this is where we left in the last video in the last video we have successfully checked the token the token is valid or not we are checking the expiry date of the token okay so if you haven't watched i'll link in the i button in the description so you guys can follow that and we're going to continue here where we left in the last video okay so that looks pretty fine to me now what we can here and save it things are looking fine let's come back to the development mode okay because we were in the production mode so here we are in the let's come back and start working on our user existing so let me tell you that how this user existing model will work exactly so just imagine that a user has created his account in your api but after one or two days he deleted his account okay so when he create his account at that point of time we had generated a token for him so he can log into our application okay but he deleted his account he's no more there in our database okay so we have to find out the the whether the user exists or not who is providing that valid token okay so that's the check we have to do because every user will have a unique token which is associated to them so they can easily able to log into our api okay so let's we start with the user existence so here we're going to do it we'll say user in that we have all the user we're going to call this method find one and we're going to find that user on the base of the id okay and this id we have in this decoded so we have seen that in the in the logs previously okay so we have the access of the id in the decoded and we're going to store this in a variable okay so we'll say fresh user fresh user okay so that's what we have here looking fine to me let's make it capital not small okay that's the user model we have and here we have to check for that okay so if user not exist then we have to simply throw this message error message okay new app error and we can send the user belonging to this token no longer let's say exist okay because the user his because the user is already deleted his or her account okay so we have to simply throw this error message okay so that's what we have and we have to display this error message a uh, error code 401 looks fine to me no more error we have now what we can do it let's come here and here you can see this is what we have here so let's create an account so this is the account i'm going to create and here we got the new account i'm going to simply copy this entire token and let's come back to the database and simply refresh and this is the account we have created so what i'm going to do is i'm going to simply delete this account so this user is no longer in our database but we have his token okay so what if someone's try to get access with this token okay but we have his token so if someone's try to access with the user token which is already deleted they will not have the access okay so what we can do we can simply copy and paste here and if we send a request you can see this is the error message we'll get back okay because this user doesn't exist in our database because it's deleted okay so you have to think all the possible way in which you have to product your api okay you get all this error message hmm? that looks pretty fine to me so this is how we are having the production whether the user exists or not so hope this makes sense to all of you guys you guys understand and that's the only thing i want to cover in this about the user existence hope this makes sense try to think that how things are going on okay try to analyze the code and the next video we're going to work on our change password okay so let's move for that